Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. Boss here to this vid by JBM Fargo. It's titled, YBN Namir is getting cooked by everyone for this. He's done. Damn. Apparently, there's something going on with him and Aiden. They're beefing for whatever reason. That's what I'm seeing from uh, from similar headlines. Not sure what the details are, though, but but sure, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. Grove Street gangster YBN Namir is getting cooked by the entire internet after Aiden Ross clowned him for a crush on GTA. <laughs> the boxing against the way. YBN Namir versus Annoying TV, but YBN Namir asked for $100,000. Todd Lily laughed at the manager and hung up. Like, bro, Damn. you rappers that have not made a hit, no disrespect, stop asking for too much money when you are not getting it, bro. You are not getting that, bro, no, stop. You'll do it for fucking 10, 15, 20 games, that's a lot of money still. Come on, bro. And if you show respect to my event and you do it for that, I'll up your next, next, next event. It's really that simple, bro. Damn, so the Aiden Ross method got patched already, man. Y'all rappers gotta find a whole new scam now. Now, Mir would see this post, responded to Aiden on IG, flexing a stack of bread, and saying, this nigga Aiden Ross popping it because I ain't wanna box for no 20K. Yeah, we said we ain't doing that shit, nigga. Now you're gonna have to box me, Aiden. You asked for it. Nigga, yes, I'ma ask for 100K because I ain't need no 20K. Is you tripping? Y'all tag this nigga Aiden Ross and tell him we gonna have to set this up. Then he tags Jake Paul saying, why did Aiden even feel the need to expose that? that I, that was kind of unnecessary, you know, even though I agree <laughs> Asking for 100k is a lot because I haven't heard any music pop off from Namir in a long time um, So I know a lot of people would think that he fell off So I get where Aiden is coming from But did you need to expose that and like go off and like, you know, even tell everybody that he wanted 100k so that people can clown him because that's what they're gonna do well i'm sure obviously <laughs> that's why he's getting cooked people are just like nigga you don't deserve no 100k you fell off da, da, da. like why would you even open him up to get roasted like that like i don't think he needs to do that and call me because then he tags aiden ross again saying they're gonna have to do a big in front of the whole world this nigga's doing everything to revive his career like he's calling on the youtube boxing illuminati after the regular Illuminati did But yeah, not trying to now shit. challenge Aiden like, to a boxing match. This shit is crazy, man. He also brought up the recent situation with Playboy Cardi, where he ran off with $2 million of Aiden's money. Nigga, ain't you the same nigga that just paid $2 million for a nigga to sit next to you? Don't mention me if it's some bullshit. I don't give a f about no free promo, no dick hog and shit, because I'm not that type of nigga. I don't care. 20 bands? What the f is that? In a clip that the whole internet saw, Aiden roasted Namir in a response to this post, saying that he fell off again. Same nigga that just paid two million dollars for a nigga to sit next to you. Don't mention me if it's some bullshit. I don't give a f about no free promo, no dick hug and shit, because I'm not that type of nigga. I got it. Namir, Namir, you're not worth $100,000. You fell off. You suck at music. You failed your music career. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but. Well, why'd you want him in the first place? Show but that. Uh, Namir, you're nothing, you're nobody, and yeah. uh, your career sucks. You, you wanted 100 bands? You want 100 bands to fight. <laughs> you need to give Jay 100 bands. What the fuck? You are nowhere near 100 bands. You want to give him? What? Shut up in the back. Who are these people? Right now. It's free. Apparently. No, he's not. He's charging. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 You ain't charging no nigga 100,000. And again, nigga. and again, kick. Pay Cardi 2 mil. Hey, at least I got 2 mil to pay. You're broke. Namir, the f***ing exposure for you, bro. I never talked to this nigga Aiden before like you feel me like even on no boxing type of shit or even DM in the middle of it's always my man and you know, like, type of shit. So um See, what was the me and Jay said at first and then he said annoying or something. So I'm like, okay, for sure. Like either way, I'm a I'm a box, like fuck it, I'm not no boxer or anything. Like I don't, I never hopped in that ring on the hood. Like I never did no weird ass shit like that because I'm not a boxer, I'm a rapper. Shit, he hopped on the phone with my manager, my manager was like, shit, we uh shit, we trying to do hundred K in the last and the nigga laughed at him and hung up the phone. And shit, I was at Disneyland when I seen the shit Aiden was talking about. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would you even hop up the stream and say, like, yeah, I laughed at this manager 100K, you're not worth 100K. Your music sucks. No disrespect. How the fuck is it no disrespect? Right. You're saying my fucking music sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, like, what the fuck is you? Like, what is you talking about? So now I do want to beat your ass, but I'm not. <laughs> it's not forceful. It's not no shit to where it's like, oh, yeah, it's beat. What the fuck is it? Wait, you want to box Aiden? Yo, we just had Namir get on the fucking stream again. He was uh, he was explaining pretty much how he felt you disrespected him you with did. the boxing offer, you and he's like, "Yo, fuck that." Well, not he with the boxing box offer, you. but the exposure. And he felt he was worth a hundred thousand. I, I know you probably didn't see what he said. He was all crazy, but 
I want to get your like you know rationale in, in, in even dealing with with the mirror and everything. I don't care if he wants to box any millions. So straight up, I mean, dude, that's like that would be like that's like Drake giving a feature to like how do I put this? That's like Drake giving a feature to fucking. Don't jargon about it. I don't know. You would you would be better at that at giving an analogy. I gave him his most relevant day he's had since like 2016. So I'm not gonna talk about it. But you want to talk about something else, I'm down. In a deleted IG story, Namir promises to catch Aiden lagging in Vice City. It's funny how the topic of how much Namir charges for a feature comes up when it's rumored that it's about between $500 to $1,000. And as you can expect, the internet is completely ruthless when it comes to rappers that but don't he say, quote unquote, fell off. It's comments from people saying that YB and Namir is the only rapper they can go band for band with, saying that he better show for free and hope he gets a meal, and that he Not should just give up rapping and get his CDO. <laughs> And probably the funniest part of the situation, Namir did an interview with a channel called Witty Apparatus the other day, where he speaks on his experience with fame and gives credit to streamers and content creators. At the end, he claims that he has over 150 hit songs on his phone and could go viral at any time. You blow up off something, you're gonna keep moving on with it. You're gonna keep doing the most he's got to Stay in that line, like, like, hey, that's 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 a cold question that you touched. I mean, a cold topic that you touched on too, because it's always been like people looked at me like, okay, I'm why being a mirror. Why you not number one? Why you not doing this the right way? I always put everybody before me first. So you feel me? That's my difference. A lot of people put themselves first and don't understand the image that they putting off with it that they put out. Like you feel me? It can make you look cool. It can make you look like a nerd. It can make you look like a. It can make you look all these type of ways. But once you put it out, you put it out. I really don't step into that lane. Like I'm not no streaming type of nigga for real. Like I watch the desktop streams. I watch Neon and all them type of niggas. Didn't he used to stream back? That's just not my lane, though. You feel I'm me? Confused. But it, it, it's just crazy. Like it's, it's crazy. It, it, it ain't nothing. I ain't, ain't no because niggas is doing their thing and that's cool. That the niggas is famous and viral and getting they bread, getting they check, whatever. It's just not my lane for real. You guys did have your time, and in like 2017. 2018, I mean, you guys were, you were on the freshman list. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't make sure. yourself freshman list. Yeah. That's crazy, yeah, bro. Like, when you yeah. really think like about it. Like the good old days. Black albums, you in it big, man. Sometimes, you know sometimes, say, sometimes I still can't even believe it. Sometimes I sit back and just be like, damn, like, I'm really famous. Like, I really, like, move my whole family and all that type of shit. I'm on magazines and shit. They playing me on the radio. I'm like, damn, what the f I'm not even paying attention. This is my voice on the radio. Like, it'd be unreal for time. Past I did everything that I wanted to do at a young age. So, I slowed down these past years. I, I started drinking, and it drowned me. It made me feel like, damn, like, you're right. You just live it day by day. But recently, I started to slow down with the drinking. I uh, understand life for what it is, and I know it's a bigger purpose. Like, I always knew it was a bigger purpose. There's nothing that changed with that. I just been behind the scenes, really just working on my life before I could really put that step on it. Like, nigga, I'm back. Cause it ain't to make a song. I got it's right now. I got like over 150 years just sitting in my phone. Like, to me, I know how to go viral. It's nothing. I started at this. It's nothing for me to say. If I wanted to go viral tomorrow, I could do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why you get cooked. <laughs> Understand betting on yourself when nobody believes in you, but man, at some point you gotta just know when to switch gears. This thing is probably the only rapper that I know that's stuck in 2017. And to make matters worse, I'm hearing he's scamming his fans for yeah, IG promos. And I reacted out on this video. just taken that 20k and got some free promo out of it. But let me know what y'all think. Okay, at first I was kind of feeling sorry for him and just like, damn, and you ain't have to do him like that. This is why he getting cooked because you exposed him. Even if he's not worth a hundred bands, you just didn't have to give it to him and you could have just moved on. You didn't have to tell everybody about it. But now hearing him talk, hearing Namir talk, I see why he's continuing to get roasted. Because what are you talking about? It's given delusion. It's given out of touch. It's given high, maybe. Maybe he was high in that moment when he was talking in that interview. I'm not exactly sure. You got 150 hits in your phone. You can go viral tomorrow if you want it. But you, but you just choosing not to. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's ridiculous. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!